Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Sentinels of the Multiverse Definitive Edition, a cooperative game where we play an assortment of superheroes tasked with taking down the villain of the piece. And this is the Definitive Edition comes with many, many decks of cards, 12 different heroes, six different villains and six different environments. You play with a different assortment every time, so yeah, your games can be very, very different depending on what configuration you're playing with. I'm going to be playing a solo game today, but strictly speaking, it's a three to five hero game. So three to five player kind of. You have to basically have at least three heroes in. If you are going to play with two or one players, there's got to be some doubling or in the solo case, tripling up of the heroes but little glass marty is here for moral support so he'll see us through in this game i am going to be playing the wraith tachyon and Ra. we are going to be fighting the villain baron blade in megalopolis and we'll see how all of those things make a difference and play into the game as we get started just before we do though i recommend you turn the subtitles onto the klingon channel if i've made any mistakes they'll be corrected there thanks steve and if you would like to help me keep making playthroughs patreon.com forward slash slicker drips would be a fantastic visit thank you so much for your support it's the only reason these videos exist so we start the game off with a villain turn and a quick bit about baron blade we know that the baron has 40 hp on the left hand side of his card it's got setup summon mobile defense platform Summon is one of the keywords of the game. It means search the trash and the deck. The trash is the game's term for a discard pile. For the indicated amount of the indicated cards and play the cards found. If you search the deck, shuffle it. So we have found the mobile defense platform here. It's got 12 HP. It is a device that might come into play. Cards might reference devices like uh, some text down here references minion cards. This one's a device though, not a minion. So all of this happened before the Baron's turn. There's some text on the Baron as well. When Baron Blade would be destroyed, instead flip. That's the symbol for flip this card. There is some advanced text at the bottom. You can play all of the villains in their advanced mode, which adds this text on. We're just going to play the standard mode. I'll just say as well that everything I've picked is kind of on the lower end of the complexity and peril scale. There is a lore book that comes with the game that can catch you up on because there is a, a rich backstory of this um, fictional comic series. But there are tables inside for the complexity of all of the heroes and the difficulty of the various environments, that kind of thing. So you can tailor those to your experience if you want to. Or you can just go completely random, of course. I've gone for lower complexity ones, not because I'm desperate for a win or not completely because I'm desperate for a win. But uh, yeah, I thought like rather than get bogged down in some really complex things in case this is the first you're seeing of uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse particularly, Let's just uh, get into it. So the villain turn is the first thing of the game. For every turn, we have a few phases. You'll notice some similarities, maybe some extra ones for the player phases. But basically, we start off with start phase. In the start phase, you look around on the cards for anything that says start phase. And it's kind of uh, highlighted here, the, the green text uh, for the start phase. So there is something in the start phase. If there are 15 or more cards in the villain trash, Baron Blade's Terra Luna Impulsion Beam activates, pulling the moon into the earth. Game over. That hasn't happened yet. There are no cards in the villain trash. And that's the only thing for the start phase. So we can move on to the play phase. We take the top card of the villain deck and we play it. So we arrange the cards in the order that they came out. And if the card says to do anything, we do it. Well, I shouldn't forget as well that the mobile defense platform says something very important. Baron Blade is immune to damage. We do have tokens to cover some of these things, like this target is immune to all damage. That's covered by the shield. So the Baron is impervious while he has his mobile defense platform. And there's some end phase text that's going to come into it in a minute. The backlash field generator the Baron just brought out says that after any villain target other than this card is dealt damage by a hero target, this card deals the attacker two lightning damage. So he's got a bit of retaliate going on now as well. Now there are types of damage in the game. The types only really come into it if certain characters might be immune to certain types of damage or cards are out that negate or reduce particular types of damage. It's basically, it'll be covered on the cards. Generally, you can just read that as two damage unless something else is gonna reference lightning damage in some way. Another little thing about the game, uh, if you see at the bottom, we've got the flavor text and we've also got uh, where this comes from in the chronology of the Sentinels comics. It also accounts for the varying art styles that you will find throughout the game. 
if we look, for example, at Raw's hand cards here, uh, he's got a card from issue number 71 that's got maybe more old-fashioned uh, comic style in there, and then you can see one from issue 250. Well, that's just a really nice touch. So the Baron has had the play phase now, played one card, and then the end phase, we look around for any end phase text, which has got this uh, red heading here, and it says, reveal the top card of the villain deck. We can reveal it. It's uh, Devious Disruption. If it's a minion card, play it, and it would say here in this box, it's not a minion, it's a one shot. So if it's a minion card, play it, otherwise discard it. So great, we haven't got a minion to deal with, but that is the first of 15 cards in the villain trash. So it's not all great. So we've had the villain turn, then we move to each hero in play order and i'm going to do this starting with little glass marty here who's taking care of wraith we're just going to go clockwise because the last thing that happens in the round is the environment turn so we'll start with the wraith and end with the environment turn so each hero has their own deck that's shuffled up same as the villain and the environment decks we have a character card the game comes with an alternate character card for all of the characters in the game as well it can give you a different special ability it tells us our health which is 26 and we've now got these dials that track our health and I have a power stealth powers will come into the game in a minute but first of all we do similar things so start phase have I got anything played that refers to my start phase no these cards are in my hand every every hero's got four cards in their hand at the start so the very first turn there probably won't be anything then we have the play phase where I can play one card from my hand then we have the power phase when I can use a power. There is a power on my character card. I can use that uh, and cards that I play because some of those say power on them as well. Then we're going to get to draw one card. If I didn't play a card or do a power, I can draw two cards. And then we have the end phase where we check for any end phase text. So I think I've got a nice little combo here. I am going to start out with Impromptu Invention, a one shot. So just a card you play, you do the thing, it's discarded. Impromptu Invention tells me that I can draw a card into my hand. So I've got Leverage, another one shot where I can draw four cards and collect a card. Collect means search your deck for that many cards. So that's also in my hand, we'll have room in a minute. So I've drawn the card, then discover an item card. Discover means reveal cards from the deck one by one until you have found the right kind of card. So I'm looking for an item card. I found a one shot, no item. Limited is another keyword. Limited means you can only have one of this card played at a time. There are multiple copies in your deck, but you can only have one played. You shuffle back in any cards that didn't match the type you were looking for and play in the order you revealed them all of the cards you were meant to discover. So my Razor Ordnance goes out now. That's a nice little power Wraith's got uh, where she can deal one target, three projectile damage. Projectile is just another type of damage. It will matter when other things reference it. So I've drawn a card, I've discovered an item card, then I can play one card. Well, I would like to play now my utility belt. It's another item, another limited item. So I'm putting my utility belt out. This impromptu invention is now done with and can go into the discard pile. So the utility belt says, I've got a power I can now use in the next phase if I want to. Either draw two cards or play one item card. And now I've got an ability that affects the power phase, which is the next phase. You may use an additional power this phase, which works perfectly because my play phase is finished. I can play one card. That card did let me play another card. And now in the power phase, I've got the option of that utility belt doing the three damage to one target or my stealth until your start phase, so my next turn, minus one damage to the Wraith. Usually I'd be able to do one of those, but because of my utility belt, I can do two. So I think I'm going to use the utility belt, draw two cards or play an item card. So I've got an item that will help us with environment cards, which will help after environment cards have started being played. Uh, stun bolt, I can deal one target, one damage, and until my next turn, minus one damage dealt by that target. There's nothing really dealing damage right now. So I think, so I've got more options for the future. I'm going to draw two cards. So I've got another leverage and inventory barrage. Discard any number of items. The Wraith deals one target, X projectile damage, where X is the number of cards discarded this way times two. I'm going to hang on to that because if you see these leverage cards, I can draw eight cards between these two. It's going to take me a few turns, uh, but especially 
with extra copies of limited cards I can't play anyway, I could potentially do a lot of damage with that inventory barrage. So we've had the power phase, now it's the draw phase, the phase where I run out of space. I've got some throwing knives. The Wraith deals up to three targets, one damage each. The only thing left now is the end phase. Have I played anything that includes an end phase? No. So I can move on to the next hero's turn, which is Tachyon. So Tachyon has 27 health and uh, their starting power testing, reveal the top card of your deck, draw it or discard it. And so her cards, Blinding Speed, destroy an ongoing card. There are no ongoing cards at the moment, let alone ones we want to get rid of. Lightspeed Barrage, uh, one shot. Tachyon deals one target X melee damage where X is the number of cards in your trash. Shuffle your trash into your deck. That's going to be great later on. And to get cards in the trash, I think out of these cards, We've got nothing that references the start phase, so we've got the play phase. We'll play Research Grant, so that's going to give us a power that I think we will use. Research Grant, draw up to three cards and then discard a card. So draw three of them. What are our options here? We've got Hypersonic Dash. After this card is played, Tachyon deals each non-hero target one sonic damage. Targets dealt damage this way, can't deal damage. And at the start phase, destroy this card. When cards are destroyed, the things they have done, the effects they have had, are also destroyed. So temporarily, that's a good way of dealing potentially a lot of damage and stopping a lot of damage coming in. We've got Research Grant, which we've seen. I just played it. It's not limited, though. So, yeah, that could be... If we get a way of doing more powers, of course, that would be great. And then, quick insight, draw three cards, discard two of them. So I think... I might regret this if we get a load of ongoing cards. But yeah, let's uh, let's get rid of one blinding speed. We've got to discard something. So uh, yeah, we'll keep those other ones out. So we've had the play phase, the power phase, now the draw phase. Uh, so Sucker Punch, Tachyon deals one target, one melee damage. And if that target has two or fewer HP, destroy that target. Okay, so between us, Wraith can deal three damage to one target. This would deal one more damage. And then the backlash field generator would only have two HP left, so it would be destroyed. So between us, we could do that next turn. Nothing referencing the end phase for Tachyon, so we can move on finally to Ra, who has 30 health and the ability Pyre Power. Ra deals one target to fire damage. I wish to say as well that all of the heroes have uh, their logos on their character cards. Each villain has a logo on them as well, which is their nemesis. Baron Blade's nemesis is the hero Legacy, and if Legacy was in the game, the Baron and Legacy would deal each other plus one damage because they are mortal foes. Back to Rather. So we have nothing referenced in the start phase. It's the first turn. For the play phase, we've got Ignite, a limited ongoing. Uh, power, Raw deals one target, three fire damage. Solar Flare, plus two damage dealt by Raw. And at the start phase, either destroy this card or Raw deals himself five fixed psychic damage. Fixed damage can't be reduced, increased, or redirected. Fiery Tornado, ongoing limited. After you use any power, Raw deals one target, one fire damage. Start phase, discard two cards or destroy this card. And in the end phase, Raw deals up to three targets, one fire damage each. So great things, but they have a cost to keeping up this much power. Uh, consuming Flame, a one-shot. Raw deals up to three targets, two fire damage each. And for each target destroyed by this damage, draw a card. So it actually might be better if we can make Raw destroy some cards. We'll see how it goes, though. I think to start off with, let's just get Ignite out. It's just a bit more powerful than his uh, starting Pyre power. And uh, yeah, that's the power that he's going to use. Deal one target, three fire damage. Now, the Baron can't be attacked, and since attacking anything other than the field generator would make the attacker take two lightning damage, I think Raw will deal the three damage to the backlash field generator. Finally for Raw, draw a card, and it's going to be the Living Conflagration. Ongoing limited. When this card is destroyed, Raw deals one target, three fire damage, and draws two cards you choose as a power to destroy this card. And the start phase of every turn, Raw deals up to three targets, one fire damage each. That is probably going to be the next one. Hmm, we'll see. See what happens, because now it is time, after all of the heroes have gone, it's time for the environment turn. There is a start phase, no cards out yet, so nothing uh, that could have that text on it. The play phase, draw the top card of the environment deck and carry it out. And then we have the end phase. So we've got Persistent Paparazzi in Megalopolis. After a hero uses a power, they deal themselves 
one fixed psychic damage. And a start phase, each hero may discard a card. If each active hero does so, destroy this card. Okay, so we've all got to get rid of something to get rid of that uh, nasty ability. And that is around. Everyone has been. We keep going until it's game over, which is in this game when Baron Blade gets 15 cards in the trash or if all of the heroes are incapacitated. If anyone's reduced down to zero HP, they are incapacitated. They stay in the game though, rather than playing cards, the back of their character card gives them an option they can do on their turn. So, you know, they're still, they're limited to what they can do, but they can still participate. And the game is only over if all heroes are incapacitated like that. Okay then, so we can go on to round two and Baron Blade's turn again. So start phase, we do the check, see if there's 15 cards. There's only one. So play a card and what are they bringing out now? We've got a powered turret, another device, plus one damage dealt by this card for each other device in play. Ouch. That's gonna suck really because on the left hand side we've got uh, end phase reveal the top card of the villain deck if it's a minion it's still not a minion discard it uh, otherwise play it otherwise discard it so discard and then backlash field generator doesn't do anything the powered turret this card deals each hero target one damage plus one for every other device card so that is plus one two damage the game does include a load of tokens that we can put on things like plus one damage dealt by this target. So it deals everyone three damage. So that's his end phase taken care of and we can go to the Wraith. So are we going to discard a card each in the start phase of the environment turn or are we just going to use Tachyon's ability to destroy an ongoing card. I'm probably going to regret discarding the other one. We can get the trash back though. Between us, I think it's only Raw that's not going to have that many cards. Wraith and Tachyon are going to be able to draw a lot. I think we could probably just discard a card each and save this for something we really want to get rid of. Thinking of that then, Wraith is going to employ Leverage uh, as uh, her play card. So draw four cards and then collect a card. So I just draw four cards and then I can search my deck for a specific card that I want. So in drawing four cards, infrared eyepiece, reveal the top card of the villain deck, replace it or discard it and draw a card. Smoke bombs, minus one damage dealt to the hero target, plus one damage dealt by the wraith, but it only lasts a round. Flashbang projector, put one non-character villain target in play back on top of the villain deck destroy this card that could be good because we're just wasting their time and then another smoke bomb so i've got all of those in hand and then i can collect search for a card and it's going to be an item oh here we go here's what i was looking for the micro targeting computer which is an item that does plus two to projectile damage dealt by the wraith my razor ordinance is projectile damage so in my power phase, I just have shuffled the deck, by the way, because I just uh, looked through it for that card. So for my powers, I've got two, remember. I can play an item card. So I am going to play that micro-targeting computer. And then for my second power, Razor Ordnance, the Wraith deals one target, three projectile damage, plus two, and the Wraith is going to deal five damage to that powered turret. So right now, that's two HP away from being destroyed, isn't it? Remember, Ra's Consuming Flame, up to three targets, two fire damage each, and for each target destroyed, draw a card. Now, there is actually a little wrinkle here because I didn't attack the field generator, did I? So the field generator deals the Wraith two lightning damage, which, you know, for now, we've still got 21 health. It's not awful. It's never great taking damage, unless you're a character that wants to be low health, but we're not playing that character right now. Uh, so we've had our two powers. I draw a card. They are having to go off to the side because there's so many of them. We've got another infrared eyepiece. Nothing in the end phase, so we can go on to Tachyon. And I think she's going to play Hypersonic Dash. After this card is played, Tachyon deals each non-hero target one sonic damage. Targets dealt damage this way cannot deal damage. So the field generator that would usually retaliate twice here cannot deal damage. In fact, until the start of Tachyon's next turn, which actually takes the wind out of having to destroy these because the powered turret can't actually do its big attack. Until the start of Tachyon's next turn, none of these can deal damage. That's what that token means. Tachyon's still got a power. And it may as well be, if we're all having to discard a card, let's uh, draw 
up to three cards. It could just be one, but let's just draw loads. And then discard one. So we've got synaptic interrupt, draw a card or play a card. If you play a card, destroy this card. Uh, this is a reaction. So reactions happen when you would be dealt damage by a non-hero target. You can activate any reaction text on cards already in play that give you a reaction. It's worth noting, by the way, that reactions and powers, you can only do each one once per turn. You can't just um, you know choose the same thing over and over again. So that's nice for when getting attacked. Uh, we've got Accelerated Assault. Tachyon deals everyone, every non-hero, one melee damage. And then Sonic Vortex. Tachyon deals up to X targets, three Sonic damage each, where X is the number of cards in your trash. Oh, so that's even better. But at the moment, there is only one card in her trash. For now. And again, we're just going to have to pile up the hand cards because we've got a lot. Nothing in the end phase, so we can go on to Raw. And... Then we've got the normal draw phase, which is going to be another synaptic interrupt, another reaction. Can only have one of these cards in play at a time because it's limited. Uh, but that's everything. There's nothing in the end phase, so we can go on to raw. And since Baron Blades things can't attack just yet, it would be horrible if another powered turret came out because it would be even more powerful. But rather than doing this right now, why don't we see if we can get the mobile defense platform down now, we might only be able to have this out just this one turn, but the Solar Flare plus two damage dealt, and we'll use this power. Raw deals one target, three plus two. That's that's five fire damage, and that's going to be going on the mobile defense platform. Now, Wraith can definitely do five damage at least, so that's putting it on 11. So next time, Raw's Consuming Flame, three targets, two fire damage each, and then draw a card for each one you destroyed. Right now, that's going to destroy all three of those, and the turret can't attack this turn. So, great. Draw phase. And remember, we've got to discard a card. Oh, there's another Consuming Flame. It's a great ability. But if we want to get rid of uh, the Environment card, which is actually our decision now, so nothing in the end phase, we move on to the Environment phase. Do we all want to discard a card? I suppose Tachyon could just do it to get more cards in her trash. But if we all do it, we get rid of this. And actually, we should be taking damage, I'm forgetting, aren't I? Uh, so Wraith did two powers, and he's down to 19 health. Tachyon did one, he's down to 23. And Ra did one, he's down to 26. So yeah, taking minus one damage would have been good as uh, Wraith's first power, perhaps. But I would have gotten like, to do one less thing. So uh, yeah, I think we definitely want to discard things. Tachyon is going to discard her duplicate Synaptic Interrupt. Wraith's going to discard her duplicate Infrared Eyepiece. And Raw is going to discard the Fiery Tornado, I think. Regretfully, they're all great. But yeah, got to discard something and then we can get rid of this and stop taking damage as we put powers out. And then the next card and the environment deck is played and it's going to be the Plummeting Monorail. So the start phase, next start phase, because we've already had that, remember? Uh, this card deals the two non-environment targets with the highest HP, five melee damage each. Destroy this card. So right now, looking at the health, old Baron over here has got 40. He's not an environment, so the environment can damage the boss and his minions and devices as well. And then second highest would be Raw at 26. In the end phase, one hero may deal themselves two fixed psychic damage and two fixed melee damage. If they do, destroy this card. It's only 6 HP. I feel like we can get rid of that before it uh, gets nasty for us. Right now, though, we've got Baron's turn. Start phase. There are two cards in his trash, so nothing else to deal with. Play a card. Oh, we've got a minion. Jet Jump Battalion. After this card is played, reveal the top card of the villain deck. Okay. Uh, if it is a device, play it. Otherwise, discard it. It is a device. Okay, I might have to zoom out more than I'd anticipated. Uh, then we've played the Remote Walking Tank. Minus one damage dealt to this card. And then in the end phase, this card deals the number of heroes minus two targets. So the one target with the highest HP, two energy damage. So that would be raw, wouldn't it? And then this one is going to deal the hero target with the highest HP, number of heroes energy damage. So three energy damage. Ouch. So they're still bad, even though these three can't attack. It's not a lot we could have done about that, though. So the end phases, uh, even though it can't attack, it can still reveal the top card of the Devillain deck. And it is a minion, so it's going to play it. Things are about to be destroyed, so I'll just have this uh, off to the corner for a second. Uh, then this one's got no end phase. This one deals each uh, hero energy damage. 
it can't deal damage at the moment, so that's fine. And it, we do need another plus one on it, but it's going to get destroyed before it attacks again, so we're okay. Then this card deals the hero with the highest HP two energy damage. So that's going to be raw down to 24. Going to have to destroy that. He can't afford to take five damage, I don't think. And then deals the hero target with the highest HP uh, three energy damage. Highest HP is still raw. So 21 HP for raw. And suddenly we have got a lot to be thinking about, haven't we? And a big mess of cards. <laughs> But it's down to Wraith. Let's do something about all of this. So I think it might only be for one turn, but let's have smoke bombs. Minus one damage dealt to hero targets. So we can all get one of these minus ones of damage dealt to us. Plus one damage dealt by the Wraith. And then for powers, we definitely want to deal one target three, four, five, six damage. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. First of all, we want to play an item card. And that item is going to be throwing knives. So we're going to have to just bear with me. <laughs> the Wraith deals up to three targets, one projectile damage each. That's the attack we're doing because this is three targets, one, two, three, four damage each. That's way better. And so that's going to be four damage on the mobile defense platform. So it's taken 10 damage. So there's three things that are two HP away from being destroyed. Well, that one's only one HP, actually. Oh, no, we missed... Blade Battalion. This card deals the hero target with the highest HP. X melee damage, where X is the current HP of this card. Oh, so it's not raw again, though. So it's five damage came to Tachyon. Ouch, 18 HP. Okay, we're caught up now. So I think that might change <laughs> who uh, Wraith might attack. So it's four damage. I think then it's going to be four on Blade Battalion. So at least it's only putting out one damage now. And then four on Jet Jump Battalion. Let's just get rid of that. Oh, there's minus one to the walking tank, though. So that would be three damage. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take this one out. There we go. Now, that does go into Baron Blade's trash. So that's another card in his uh, towards his 15. But there's Wraith's two abilities. We can draw another card now, and it's going to be another flashbang projector to put a target back on top of the villain deck. No endgame things. So we can come down to Tachyon. Start phase, destroy this card, which also destroys the uh, you can't deal damage anymore that's on these three targets, but they are hopefully all going to be destroyed when it comes down to it. Now, I think for playing, I'd like some powers to attack, but it's going to be Accelerated Assault. Deal each non-hero target one melee damage. No, I think it's going to be Sonic Vortex. So Tachyon has three cards in her trash, which means she can deal up to three targets, three Sonic damage each. That's reduced by one on the walking tank, so it just takes two damage. I think we want the environment taking three damage. So we could just stop at two. Well, actually, no, the raw can't do all of them. So let's just do three overkill on Blade Battalion and get rid of that. There we go. That's another, that's four in the trash now, but maybe a bit easier to deal with once all of these have gone. But then we've got to, as soon as these are killed, we've really got to start destroying that 40 HP of Baron Blade, which maybe maybe we'll be able to. Tachyon's still got uh, power to do, so it's going to be draw up to three cards and discard a card, I think. So we've got, oh, pushing the limits, ongoing card with a power. Uh, Tachyon deals one target, three melee damage, destroy this card. Or if you don't use its power, start phase, Tachyon deals herself two damage. Play phase, you can play an additional card. Draw phase, you can draw an additional card. Ooh. And Sucker Punch we've seen. Oh, and Lightspeed Barrage we've seen. Okay. And then normal draw phase. Oh, discard something. I think Lightspeed Barrage is not really a good thing to have two of because you shuffle your trash after you've used it. I suppose then you can use it again once you've built this up. But yeah, I'm going to discard that one. And then Tachyon does her normal draw, which is going to be Nimble Strike, deals one target, two melee damage. You may draw a card. Raw, in the start phase, either destroy this card or Raw deals himself five fixed psychic damage. Raw is going to deal himself five fixed damage. I thought he was going to get rid of this, but I... Th ah. We're going to... Oh, which means this, this card was plus two. So we didn't need to do so much to get Raw... Oops, doing this. this is three targets, four fire damage each. Which might change what he attacks, actually. Oh, and Tachyon attacked. I'm catching up with the subtitles here. Uh, Tachyon attacked two villain targets, didn't she? 
after her stop attacking had gone off. So she needs to take two damage as well. So she's on 16 as well. Suddenly Wraith with 19 is looking really healthy. So he's taking that five damage. Yes, st sticking with it. Consuming flame, three targets, up to four fire damage each. We're going to do the field generator first so it can't retaliate. That's five in the trash. We'll do the remote walking tank because four minus one is still three damage and still kills it. It was going to be the powered turret, wasn't it? So now it's only got plus one damage. It's just that it could end up drawing a load of cards, couldn't it? And end up boosting this back up. Now the third one is going to be... I was thinking the environment, but no, it's going to be the mobile defense platform so that Baron Blade can start taking some damage and stop playing cards from it. So there we go. From from panic to suddenly things are looking a little bit, uh, a little bit safer, we'll say. Ross still got a power to use. And that is deal one target. Well, we could just do four damage, but five damage. So it could just be that powered turret and then Baron's got nothing to play. It could be the plummeting monorail get rid of it but at the moment it's attacking baron blade and wraith and i might regret saying this but wraith could afford to take five damage and then someone could just destroy it on their turn just for the sake of it's also doing five damage to the baron so it might not be a terrible thing to leave out i think that five is going straight on the baron so it's first damage of the game it's down to 35 HP. Ra needs to draw a card, and that's probably going to have to go next time. Uh, another Living Conflagration, which would probably be nice to get out. Uh, and then that is it. It's time for environments. So start phase, the two non-environment targets with the highest HP, five damage each. So the highest by far is Baron Blade with 35. So he's down to 30 now. And then the highest target is the Wraith with 19. So unfortunately, she is now down to 14. But then what else has the environment got for us? It's going to be Persistent Paparazzi. After a... Oh, it's the hero deals a damage thing. Tachyon has got a destroy one ongoing card. Because, yeah, Wraith's probably taking two damage now. Unless she defends herself. She's got the Wraith takes less damage thing, hasn't she? Oh, and... Oh, actually, it's minus one damage to a hero, so Wraith should only have taken four. It's fixed psychic damage, though. Oh, it's fixed psychic damage from Paparazzi as well. Okay, there we go. Just discovered that my, my plan to avoid this damage didn't work, but we've saved a little bit of damage elsewhere. So end phase, does someone want to take four damage to destroy this card? No. Baron Blade's turn, hasn't got 15 in his trash yet and then has played hasten doom baron blade deals each hero target two toxic damage play the top card of the villain deck ouch and then the next card so that's another one in the trash one two three four five six seven eight in the trash and then we've got consider the price of victory minus one damage dealt by hero targets each hero discards a card so the next start phase baron blade deals each hero a sonic damage discard the top Three minus one. Stop two cards of the villain deck. Destroy this card. Yikes. Oh, and then his turret deals one damage to every hero. Wraith's turn. At the moment, she has got six item cards. She's going to play leverage. Draw four cards and collect one card. So four cards I'm basically looking for. Not particularly to play, but I just want to pile up item cards. Remember for this? Discard any number of item cards, deal one target, X damage, where X is the number of cards discarded, times two. This is all going on Baron Blade. So we've got a couple more leverages. And then another utility belt. Can only have one out, though, so it doesn't really matter that I've drawn more. And then we can collect a card. Uh, this goes into the trash. I'm, I'm basically just looking for a, an item. So I don't think I'm going to get these out anymore. So then shuffle this back up. Oh, at the start phase, we should destroy this card too, the smoke bombs. And we didn't... I was tempted to play another smoke bombs, actually, but I forgot that temptation. I think this one's better. So now we've got three, six, nine items. So this is an 18 damage card if we use it next turn. I mean, something's going to happen when the Baron's card flips, isn't it? But that's more than half of the Baron's health. So all of these plus and minus ones can go for now. And now we have powers. So taking a damage for every power that we do. Unless, I think we've got to do it though. So Wraith deals up to three targets, one damage each, plus two. So three damage each. One is just going to be the monorail. 
three destroys it. Oh, but actually it doesn't because it's minus one damage dealt by hero targets, isn't it? So that's on one HP right now. Yeah, and then I think two damage to the turret, even though it's overkill, it's gone now. And two damage to the Baron, why not? Apologies if the health <laughs> Wraith has suddenly flicked about during this turn. I just realized that I skipped the Baron's turn and went back and slotted it back in. And then she takes a damage for doing a power. 11 health. And then, yeah, deals one target, three damage. Four, five, but minus one to what heroes are doing. So four. That could get rid of the monorail, but I think it's going to be straight on the Baron. It's got 24 HP. Draw a card. Come on, item. It's not. Destroy an ongoing card, though. I wish we'd had that because I was definitely going to get rid of the ongoing with Tachyon's get rid of an ongoing card. But this ongoing is probably worse now. I mean, taking a damage every time we do a power is less than ideal, isn't it? Just realize we've done another power. But minus one damage dealt might be even worse. Right then, what is Tachyon going to do? No start abilities. Uh, <laughs> all of Wraith's items are infringing on our play area. So there are five cards in a trash, can deal one target, five damage, but, but it's minus one right now. Destroy an ongoing card is probably the thing we want to do. It's just nothing else is going on that kind of builds Tachyon up. Like being able to play extra cards could be great. She takes two damage every turn though, if that's out. I think, yeah, we need to get rid, get rid of an ongoing card and we'll destroy. Baron's card is going out though. Everyone discards a card, everyone takes a damage and discard and two more cards from the villain deck. I think we can afford that. Yeah, I'm going to destroy the paparazzi. And it also reminds me that Ra played this card, but also destroyed three targets, didn't he? So she'd have a load of cards, because I was just thinking, Ra's the only one that can't really afford to discard a ton of cards, but he can actually. So destroy an environment card. So actually, I regret. <laughs> now that if I'd known Ra had that, yeah, let's take that back. Ra should have had that. So we'll leave that environment out for now. It does mean Tachyon will take a damage for doing her power. Well, she doesn't have to do her power. And we'll get rid of this ongoing with Tachyon's card. Yeah, I think she just won't do a power. Draw a card. Uh, up to X targets, three damage each. And her trash right now is six. So six targets, three damage each. So it's only the number of targets increasing, not the damage. Okay, raw, start phase. Destroy this or raw takes five damage. We can't afford for this to stay out. Five damage. No, it's got to be destroyed, unfortunately. So play a card, I think, yeah, destroy an environment card and deal each non-hero one fire damage. So this is destroyed, actually. And this isn't a hero, takes one damage, is destroyed. And uh, Baron Blade also takes one damage on 23 HP. So what did we say? Like, Wraith is already at 18 damage, isn't she? With her big attack. Ra can do three right now. Oh, yeah, and, and will. So, yeah, deals three damage. Uh, there's, there's actually nothing else out to attack other than each other. Uh, we don't want that, so three damage to Baron Blade. Then finally, it's going to be environments and nothing out already. In turn order, reveal the top card of each deck. If it's a one shot, discard it. Otherwise, play it. So I guess then that's everybody. So starting with the villain, uh, it's not a one shot, so discard it. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards now. I think we can we can kill him next turn though. Eleven cards in his discard pile. Fifteen is game over. Then Wraiths is a one shot. Discard any. It's this one. Discard any number of item cards and deal that much damage. She could just discard less, but let's just do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine item cards discarded and it deals double that number in damage. So 18 damage, the Baron is on two HP. And depending on the one shots that come out, we might kill him with this. Tachyon has a one shot, draw one card and play up to two. Okay, let's zoom in because this is gonna be more involved. I thought draw a card, each hero will draw a card, you may play a card. <gasps> Well, yeah, that just keeps on the number of plays, doesn't it? It just means everyone can draw a card. So we'll play that, and we've still got two more plays. So destroy an ongoing card is out. We've got no ongoing cards going on right now. So two card plays, and we've only got the Baron out, and we only want to do two damage to him. So Sucker Punch deals one damage and then would um, destroy him. But when he would be destroyed, he, get, he flips instead. Probably this one. Deal one target, two damage, and then draw a card. Yeah, we'll do that. And then draw a card and we've still got one card to play but baron is being dealt two damage and so double zero 
is destroyed. Oh, I should have taken this immune shield off for ages uh, as soon as that um, mobile defense platform was destroyed. So his card is flipped. The camera goes blurry. He is now an armored mad scientist. When flipped to this side, destroy all villain ongoing cards and set Baron Blade's HP to 30. Now at the end phase, we don't worry about the number of cards in his trash anymore. Uh, Baron Blade deals the hero target with the highest HP, three melee damage, and deals everyone one energy damage. So that can be prevented. Not right now, but on Wraith's turn maybe. Oh actually no, the smoke bomb was an item. She discarded that. <laughs> she can protect herself though. Uh, but over to Tachyon, she's still got a card to play. So the most damage she can do is 9 damage. She would then have to shuffle her trash back in. But that's 9 out of 30 damage done straight away. Or she could just do this. And then get to play extra cards. Deal a damage from there. Yeah, because she could play that next time. Yeah, she will play this. She will take 2 damage at the start of her turn. But I think we can deal with that. For being able to play extra cards and draw extra cards. And she could even use that as her power to deal him three extra damage and then destroy this. Yeah, that's that's going to be it for now. Raw has to... <laughs> we're, we're still on this bustling city uh, one-shot card. So is Raw revealing a one-shot card? No, it's an ongoing card. So it's discarded. Uh, the card uh, Raw drew, by, by the way. Bury up to three cards from the environment trash. Bury means put the indicated card on the bottom of the associated deck. Uh, so three cards from the environment trash go on the bottom of the environment deck. Discover X relic and or ongoing cards where X is the number of cards buried this way. So you might be putting some nasty cards back, but you can then reveal up to three relic and or ongoing cards from each top of the deck. Keep drawing until you find them. Uh, anyway, so he didn't have a one-shot card. And then finally, is there a one-shot card here to play? No, uh, it would have been start phase. Each hero destroys one of their items. Oh no. And discards a card and then destroy this. End phase, one hero may discard two one-shots to destroy this card. It wasn't a one-shot, so it doesn't come out. And this was a one-shot, so this goes in the trash as well. And that's the end of the environment phase. And we can go over to villain turn time. So nothing in the start phase. Uh, we go on to the play phase. Play a card, powered turret, we've seen it. Uh, there are no other devices though. So then in the end phase, first of all, hero with the highest HP, three damage. That's going to be raw or tachyon. Tachyon's already taking three, so we'll uh, have it be raw this time. And then powered turret deals everyone one energy damage. And no one's played anything to protect themselves, so nine HP for raw, 12 for tachyon, and nine also for the wraith. And that is the... Baron's turn, so Wraith. No more inventory barrage because we got rid of all of those items. Wraith deals one non-hero target, one toxic damage. If it's destroyed, reveal the top card of each deck. You may discard any revealed cards and play the others. Ooh, there's nothing to destroy by doing one damage right now, though. There's no ongoing cards. That would deal no damage. So I think the card to be played then is draw four cards and then search the deck for one. So draw four cards, destroy an ongoing again. Uh, impromptu Adventure, draw a card, discover an item card, and then you may play a card. Great for chaining actions and turns. Deals a target a lightning damage, and then you can get minus one damage dealt by that target until your next turn. And then I can collect a card. So what's left in the deck that I would like? Healing, and then salvage an item card. Salvage is search your trash for an item. Destroy ongoings. It might be that. Minus two damage to the Wraith would be dealt. If the Wraith takes no damage as a result, you can play a card. I think that, as a reaction, we'll draw that. Maybe that's going to be the card we play. It's an ongoing and not an item, so I wouldn't be able to just play it. Remember, I can play items because of the utility belt. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is just, uh, deal something three, four, five damage, and then three targets, three damage each. We haven't got three targets to target. So she's going to put three damage on the turret, and then that's a big old eight coming into Baron Blade. So on 22... So that's two powers done. Draw phase is Razor Ordnance. We've already got that out, so we can't play it, but maybe it will build up to Inventory Barrage eventually. Nothing in the end phase, so Tachyon. Start phase, she deals herself two fixed fire damage. But she can now play an additional card. So I think everyone draw a card and you may play a card, because 
she can still play two more cards and she has drawn another light speed barrage so we can still play two things so that would just be three damage to the turret and to baron blade i think yeah that's the best thing to do uh, so up to nine targets can take three damage each again we've just got uh, these fellas so three more on the turret it's got one health and then three on baron blade it's got 19 and then that's 11 cards in the trash now so tachyon deals one target x melee damage where x is the number of cards in your trash and then shuffle your trash into your deck. So that is 11 damage. Shuffle all of these in. And then that is 11 damage going straight to Baron Blade. He's got 8 health. Can Raw finish that off? Well, she hasn't done her power yet as, as well. Because her power could just be... She would have to destroy this and wouldn't get to draw extra cards. But, I mean, this could be the last turn. Tachyon deals 1 target, 3 melee damage, destroy this card. And that's a new thing in the trash if the game doesn't end. But three more damage means Baron Blade is on five HP. Tachyon draws one more card. It's a nimble strike. One target, two melee damage. You may draw a card. And it's time for Raw. So it's a bit late for dealing up to three targets, one damage each in his start phase next time. Can he do five damage to the Baron? Oh, in fact, yeah, the ultimate humiliation. He will do Consuming Flame. Deal up to three targets, two damage each. So that is two damage on the powered turret, destroys it. Two damage on Baron Blade, puts him down to three. And then Raw deals one target, three fire damage. So not only have we destroyed Baron Blade in his armored suit, but we've also taken out every single thing that he owned in the meantime as well. So there we have it. As I said, this is kind of, I think Me Megalophis was a little bit higher on the complexity, but yeah, Baron Blade is like one one difficulty megalopolis two peril uh, up to a maximum of eight and then wraith is four complexity tachyon three and raw one so yeah i said early on there i was going for low complexity and uh, difficulty just to you know i think there was already a couple of looping turns and enough going on i think to get a sense of uh, sentinels of the multiverse but hey maybe let me know if you enjoyed this maybe sentinels will return because just with this base box there's a ton of stuff we can do uh, completely different heroes villains environments very very easily there's also like an ongoing campaign little mode that you can play in there and earn extra things kind of play through the story of sentinel comics having said that though i do really like wraith i love in i know it's not a deck builder but generally i love drawing more cards and having loads and loads of options tachyon got to draw a ton of cards as well but wraith i really like just abilities to keep drawing cards and keep playing cards and have all of these items out yeah wraith's my favorite so far out of the uh, five or so of the heroes that i've played but there we go that is a game of sentinels of the multiverse i hope you enjoyed it as much as marty and i did and uh, if you would like to know what i think about the game then that link is coming up very shortly or it's in the description now if you'd like to help me keep making playthroughs at uh, patreon.com forward slash slick or i've got a kofi down here if you would prefer there thank you so much for your support for your time in uh, watching the video and spending some time with me and i will see you for the next game bye everyone <laughs>